what began as just a cluster of barracks is now one of the elite military training academies for tomorrow's service officers. Constantly reassured by their motto, Get to Excel, 25 years worth of NEC officers have brought laurels to NEC thanks to their glorious exploits on board fleet ships and ashore. Today, NEC is a stronghold of some of the most professionally competent, technically able and physically robust officers at the disposal of the Indian Navy. Our daily routine begins earlier than others with what is the backbone of any cadet, physical fitness. Achieving high standards in physical fitness is reiterated through regular PT classes. Drill is the bedrock of discipline. Smart turnout and military bearing is superimposed by rifle and sword drill as well. Swimming is the bread and butter of any Navy man. Our comfort in the water is as necessary as should be perfect. The Naval College of Engineering houses our classroom instructions with the help of highly qualified DRDO scientists and is affiliated with the Jawaharlal Nehru University. Technical training and well-equipped laboratories put us at par if not ahead of the engineering developments outside the Navy. A fully functional technical library quenches any thirst for knowledge which may linger outside the classroom. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Recreational sports is the most awaited time of the day. Academics being the most vital aspect of our career profile is emphasized upon with daily study periods. The aim of officers of the career steering team is not only to train the able engineers who will run the warships of the Indian Navy, but also to groom these young future officers into military leaders and fine gentlemen. Certain visits and expositions form a date to look out for on the training calendar. Industrial visits to factories and industries give us a much needed insight about the development in fast growing multinational industries. An attachment to the industrial training wing exposes us to the basics of machinery. Hobby clubs give us a chance to storm the brain for creative insights in computers, journalism, painting, ship modeling, photography, etc. The art of capturing the power of the wind should be a cup of tea for any seafarer and so is endeavored in the sailing club. Performing arts is not entirely neglected in any sea. Each cadet is allowed to showcase his hidden talent in any form, may it be music, dance or theatre. Public speaking is given utmost importance. A naval officer's work requires him not only to demand but to earn the respect of his men while also inspiring them. Hikes or city visits during the midterm break are held to serve a dual purpose. One, to give the cadets a much needed break from the rigors of the term and two, to explore the country and its jewels. Fine dining and table etiquettes are one of the many niches of an officer and a gentleman. Mess nights give us an exposure to royal and mannered functions which form a key part of our training and personality development. Small arms firing, where the man meets the machine. Training in handling firearms is essential for any armed forces officer and soldier of the country. NEC has given us enough opportunities to tread on the path of adventure. May it be honing their equestrian skills on brute stallions or rappling down the cliff of Duke's nose. Our enthusiasm speaks for itself. Soaring through the skies in mind-boggling winds or deep sea diving in the rich coral reefs, our thirst for adventure will always be quenched. Hanging for dear life across the valleys or paradropping from the zeniths of the sky, 
a total of 10 cadets have earned their coveted para wings. For many, a Sunday may be a day off, but for us, it is an opportunity to explore the land. Treks to force of historical significance is a refreshing change from the hectic routine. Enjoying those moments together on the peaks of Shivaji's majestic force was always a joyful experience. Sports forms a crucial part of our training curriculum. Not only does it ensure our physical fitness, but also teaches us team spirit, perseverance, sportsman spirit, etc. NEC, under the banner of Khanderi, has done wonders since the arrival of the 25th Legends. Despite winning and defending the Shivaji Sports Trophy for all three years, our sights have been set on bigger goals such as the Southern Naval Command and CISM World Military Games. The 25th Legends have proved their mettle in Shivaji Triathlon. Not only did we sweep clean the podium but also gave Shivaji the Iron Man. Our exploits in cross country have been majestic. Improving with every year, the top spot for cross country has never been of contention with our participation in SNC and even the Navy team. With a mere strength of just 72, every event was treated as a do or die situation and the 25th legends pushed every muscle till they earned their title of champions. 25th legends have done wonders for the Naval Engineering course. Their exploits in all aspects of training such as academics, sports and extracurricular activities have been magnificent. The 25th legends have done justice to their course as the kings of NEC. Final cross country, a day earmarked on Ines Shivaji's calendar as the day the entire NEC fraternity comes together to celebrate the bread and butter of our alma mater, cross country. One of the highlights of the legends final year was the NEC triathlon, a brainchild of the cadets which materialized brilliantly. To commemorate the closure of NEC, all the cadets of the passing out course engaged themselves in a mass triathlon covering a total distance 290 km. Flagged off by running to the coast of Mandwa, continued by sailing to Mumbai and ultimately cycling back to the new cadets complex. Frequent ship visits on board fleet ships give us a first class experience of life at sea. An early exposure to hands-on seafaring gives us an insight to what life has in store for us. The cadets were also attached on board INS Tarangini, a sail training ship of the Indian Navy. We received expertise training in both the technical and executive aspects of the ship and were also acquainted with evolutions at sea and harbour. While on board INS Tarangini, we also had the proud privilege of attending the President's Fleet Review 2012. The Hexagonals is an annual sports meet held between the six military training academies of the country. The legend's performance in the Hexagonals over the last three years has been noteworthy, giving NEC their first ever gold medal in cross country and retaining the title the following year, not to mention breaking the standing IMA record and bagging not one but the top two positions on the podium. In their final year, the legends, despite a strength of just 72, raised doubting eyebrows with breathtaking performances, forcing everyone to acknowledge NEC's presence in the sports arena, thanks to their never-say-die attitude despite dwarf numbers. Four cadets of NEC were part of the contingent which represented India in the inaugural CISM World Military Games held in Turkey. Then comes camps, what makes us different from the rest of the world. A time which pushes each one of us to our limits, testing our physical and mental endurance. It is during these days of hardships that all our years of tough training surface and we shine. It is during these days that the seeds of camaraderie sown reap rewards of loyal coastmates. It is during these days that we shed the tag of boys and don the responsibility of young men. Teamwork, perseverance, survival techniques, navigation and tent pitching are taught to us the hard way.
Yet, the numbing pain which eclipses our body turns into a heartwarming memory after it is all over. After all, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Despite walking and running endless miles up and down the Sayadri slopes, we do not lose our spirit. We only reignite it and cheer up with each celebration and have the time of our life. This is where the chapter ends A new one now begins Time has come for letting go The hardest part is when you know All of these years When we were here Are ending But I'll always remember We have had the time of our lives And now the page is turned the stories we will write We have had the time of our lives And I will not forget The faces left behind It's hard to walk away From the best of days But if it has to end I'm glad you have been my friend in the time of our lives Where the water meets the land There is shifting in the sand Like the tide that ebbs and flows Memories will come and go All of these years But I'll always remember We have had the time of our lives And now the pages turn The stories we will write We have had the time of our lives And I will not forget The faces left behind It's hard to Time of our lives, and I will not forget the faces left behind. It's hard to walk away. In spite of all the times we cried ourselves to sleep, the times our muscles refused to move, the times pain could feel no worse, I can proudly say that the last three years have been my best. My eyes tear up when I think that there will be no NEC to revisit but NEC will live long even after I am gone in every NEC officer's heart. <laughs>